Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In tonight's video, I'm going to be unboxing two pieces, actually. What I'm going to be unboxing is the two undercover spring-summer 2022 long-knit cardigans that I picked up from SVP. Hey yeah, guys, look, he's succumbed to the Black Friday sales. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't. I actually did not. No. Um, so these two spring summer 2022 cardigans from Undercover, they both were already on sale uh, at SVD. They just, um, they, yeah, they didn't discount them anymore for their Black Friday sale because both of these cardigans were already discounted at like. 80 to 85 percent off their retail price like they were very discounted so i could understand why they didn't discount them they probably didn't discount them as well because i had them favorited but yeah it's i mean at like 80 to 85 percent off like how far can you really go for these like undercover cardigans like you there's got to be a cutoff point right and i think that was the cutoff point they couldn't discount them anymore so yeah, I did pick them up around the Black Friday time though, but that's purely just because my paycheck came in and I spent some of my paycheck on picking these up. So that was purely by coincidence. I didn't actually buy anything that was discounted for Black Friday. It was just these are already discounted. You know me, I'm all like, that's how I spend uh, a lot of my like Sundays. If I have like an hour or two and I'm not doing anything, I'll just like scroll through boutique after boutique, bookmarking all these pieces that I want coming back to them when I have that cash available and yeah that's exactly what I did here um I mentioned that I wanted to pick uh the black cardigan up from Undercover's spring summer 2022 season way back in a pickups video where I discussed five undercover pieces I wanted to pick up from the spring summer 2022 season uh and yeah just seeing a size five available in the black version of the cardigan and a brown version of the cardigan at like 80 to 85 percent off i just thought you know what what an awesome opportunity to pick both of these up and um yeah these are probably going to be the one some of the heaviest pieces that i will be picking up moving forward i do have another piece on the way that is quite heavy uh which i'll definitely be wearing in the fall winter series uh like season moving forward but I think from after that piece moving forward I definitely got to pick up more capital uh the you know some awesome light outwear pieces from capital moving forward just because yeah it's spring summer like it's super super hot I gotta have some pieces ready for that and I do already but not as much as like my fall winter wardrobe is so um yeah I definitely got to prepare for that I need to stop picking up pieces that I cannot wear in that season I need to prepare for that more <laughs> so yeah that, i guess that's my little rant over that's what i'm going to be looking at moving forward very lightweight outwear pieces from capital and other brands as well uh for the spring summer season but yeah anyway i've talked about where i picked this up from why i was interested in it where what i picked up i picked up both of them the brown cardigan and the black cardigan so let's just get into it guys let's unbox both uh the black and brown cardigans from Undercover's Spring Summer 2022 collection. I've got my trusty kitchen scissors here. Let's get these pieces unboxed, guys. So yeah, and two more Undercover pieces. I really love collecting Jun Takahashi's work. I just love his pieces. I wish I could fit into his pants, but I'm just too much of a thick Western lad. I just, like his biggest size for his pants is usually like a 36 with his mainland, uh, uh, sorry, mainline pieces. When he collabs with like double taps and stuff, it goes up to like a 38. So if I keep losing a bit of weight, I should be able to rock uh, at least the collaborative pants that he does with double taps. But yeah, it's just, I guess the like top half of the body is my, my only pieces that I can pick up from Mr. Takahashi. But I love his work. Absolutely love his work. I continue. I will continue to collect a lot of his work moving forward. I would love one day to showcase it in like an exhibition of like what I've collected. I don't know how I would represent that, but 
yeah, I've collected so much of his work over the years now. We'll continue to do so moving forward. I'm always on the hunt. So if you guys, you know, you see me mention any pieces that, and you see them in a size 5, send them my way. And some of you guys have done that. I have picked up some pieces in past um, unboxing videos because you guys have sent them to me. So I definitely pay attention. Uh, thank you to you guys out there that have done that in the past. Um, yeah, absolutely love his work. Uh, this season, the spring summer 2022 season, I wasn't particularly blown away by the season, but there were some cool pieces here and there that I wanted to pick up from it. And um, yeah, I'll definitely keep my eyes and ears out for those pieces that I mentioned in that pickups video when I talked about the season and when uh, the pieces I talked about when we covered the lookbook initially. But um, yeah, here we go, guys. <laughs> here it is. Here is cardigan number one. Oh, I just looked at that. Uh, that like material usage and damn damn okay well, well we'll get it out we'll get it out and i'll, I'll showcase it so whew, cardigan number one we have the black one as we can see here i'll try and bring it up to the camera as much as we can there it's quite awkward because it's just like it's sheer size and that bag is probably very very loud for you guys but as you can see there black mix size five and look at that material i'm gonna say oh god i can see if i can try and bring it to the camera 82 percent wool nine percent silk six percent polyester and a little three percent rayon <laughs> now knowing now knowing some other brands that nine percent silk they could label this as a silk cardigan <laughs> but there's probably some uh you know regulations around that but anyway that is the bag there i'll put that one there It'll be interesting to see because I haven't actually gotten a piece from his newer seasons like the Spring Summer 2022 and uh, for Winter 2022 because the tags have changed, haven't they? They are, I think, white tags on a lot of the pieces. So that'll be interesting to see moving forward. Secondly, I'll put the box down now. We have the other colorway, the brown or the beige, depending on what you look up, the... the uh, the brown or beige there. But showcasing it, I will ooh, see if I can showcase it to you there. Here are the tags on this one. We have beige mix, the UC, I think it's 1B4903 cardigan, size 5. It has 82% wool, 9% silk, 6% polyester, and 5% rayon. Wow. And I actually just noticed clip closure bags. Or button closure bags. Look at that. That's bushy for a bag. I've, I've used, normally these bags are just like taped clothes or whatever. So seeing them like button clothes is a little extra detail there. These look like they have no structure to them because like trying to move them around in these bags, they kind of just go everywhere. So I'm gonna place this one down here as well. Um, let's unbox this black one first. These are probably going to be massive as well. And you probably can barely hear me over all the like crinkling plastic. So I'm sorry for that, guys. I'll try and minimize that the best I can. Ooh. Okay. But I'll just I'll put that down there. Let's get these these tags out. So, as showcased. There it is there. I'll bring it up to the screen a little bit closer. The UC1B4 uh 901 black mix cardigan in a size five there's the build of it and there is the tags made in japan in this little um thing here we should have a showcasing of the material so i'll open that up there we go ah oh, look at that and a spare button amazing so we have a little bit of a showcasing of the material used on the garment and a spare button just in case i lose a button so very, very handy. I'm going to have to hold on to that and put that somewhere safe because uh, just in case, I don't, I don't mean to lose a button, but just in case I do. Now, I will showcase this on body, of course. I'll try and showcase it to you the best I can off body, but that's going to be a little bit difficult as well. I'll put that down here. Yeah, this piece is huge. Oh my God, it's massive. I mean, what did I expect? I'm buying a size 5, a 2XL, the biggest size. What am I on about? <laughs> But you know how Japanese brands are. You buy a 2XL and it's actually an American large. You know, you know, you know, at least these days, uh, Japanese brands are becoming more size accompanying 
to the west, I would say. Um, okay, it looks like for the spring summer spring summer 2022 season, they're still using the traditional black tags that they used, or at least on these knits they are. So maybe I'm thinking of the fall winter 2022 season. Maybe it's not the knits this season. I'm a little unsure, but is the tags on it for that one. So I'll showcase it to you the best I can. It, I mean, it looks legitimate. I'm, I, I don't doubt that it isn't legitimate. It looks like the tags from all my other undercover pieces. So I'm going to showcase it the best I can there. So we have, oh God, again, if I can even showcase it to you. We have undercover co.limited made in Japan. The name of the piece, size five, and then the build of it there. I'm, I'm gonna try and showcase it to you off body, but as I said, it doesn't have any structure to it. So it's just like a huge mass of wool. Oof, oof, and it's got a bit of a bit of a stank to it, damn. Um, huge buttons though, and huge v-neck opening. I'm actually kind of keen to wear this over the top of like my general work outfit, which is the, the button up and the, the black tie, the white Uniqlo button up and the black tie. I think that'll look really nice, but it's also just a really nice like flowy piece that I feel like I could wear this like casually as well. Just like a really nice like old man looking uh, Nick Cardigan there. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well, we'll put the black one aside over here. Let's get the brown one. Okay, the brown one now. We'll uh, un unbutton that. Kind of cool that it still has the buttons on it, but anyway. Pull that one out here. Put that here. Oh god, look at that. I'm already covered in black, black hair, a black wool. Okay, putting that down here. So here is the black one. We saw the tags basically before, but I'll just showcase them again. So we have the beige mix. UC1B4903, size 5, and then the materials there. Made in Japan. Fantastic. And having a look at this pouch as well. There we go. As always, we have the material there and a brownish button being showcased to us there. An extra spare one there. Very, very handy. I'm, I'm definitely going to hold on to these. Um, I mean, look, I, I don't think I'd ever sell them unless I was in like real financial trouble. But um, if I ever needed to like pass this on to someone for whatever reason, um, I'd definitely pass them along with these things here. So then they have that extra button as well. And it is very handy if I lose a button for whatever reason. I can't imagine that I would intentionally, but I don't know how well these buttons are put onto the piece. Now, you may be thinking, why did you buy the cardigan in the black and the brown? They're going to be the same piece. Well, they're actually slightly different there's a slight variation to them of course the color is one of the main variations to it but the other big variation to it is as you can see straight away the neck opening this one has a much tighter neck opening um, around there it doesn't have that huge v opening that the black one does uh, it didn't make a huge difference but i was like i guess the main thing was that i was like look the size five is available in the brown i mainly want the black but the size five is available in the brown it's like 80 something percent off when am I going to see this again in a size five at like available in a retail store for that price? Probably never. So I did pick up the brown more so just because it was like then and there. But I am very happy to have both in my undercover collection for sure. Um, yeah, but these are these feel like the material feels very very nice. It feels so it's like a blanket. And I mean, look, it's it's as big as one. Like <laughs> it could just rest on me like this. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, well, I better show you. Left-hand side of the garment, the tags for undercover pieces are always on. The left-hand side, bam, there it is right there. There is the tags for the uh, brown one. If you guys, I guess, I don't know, want to legit check it or whatever. But there we go there. Made in Japan. Very comfy knit. Very, very nice. Okay. I'll try on the brown one first because it's my least favorite of the two. And then you guys can have a look of like how they all look. Um, yeah, let's get these on body and I'll showcase them to you the best I can there. <laughs> look at this, man. I feel like an old man. Look at this. This is going to be me when I'm like 50. I'm just going to be rocking this undercover knit. And then people are just going to think I'm super old. But secretly I'm rocking the spring summer 2022 undercover knit. It's, I tell you what though. Old man drip is comfy. This is damn well comfy though. I could just like chill like this. I'm gonna like undo it. The um, 
the buttons that are placed at like I guess uh, different distances between each other and how they're like not proportionally placed at the same distance between each other feels kind of weird but I, it's kind of a look it feels very like make like DIY like someone literally just like threw this together and made this very quickly I really like the oversized buttons on it the buttons are massive they are huge but like I could totally get around this I could get around just just chilling like this I how they wore it in the lookbook with slacks derbies and a button up or yeah just like a like a dress shirt looks very nice and I think this will look really nice when I rock it with my Uniqlo white button up a nice black tie I think this will be like yeah as I said like an old man look but a very comfy one at that I gotta say the brown one's really nice uh, this is how it looks it flows very well like I could just like move and it like shuffles around I feel like an old man in like a dance hall right now just boogieing along but this is comfy this is is there any surprise or hidden pockets no the only surprise is the amount of excess wool that is then translated to your black pieces my god <laughs> like look at the oh yo 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 oh yeah yeah that was gonna happen wool is like that until you wear it in a couple times and eventually it stops but yeah okay i'll try and throw it back a little bit so it sits a little bit more on my shoulders it's kind of a steeze looking at it. i feel like yeah just shuffle around like this just like move around like that it's it's so this is not scratchy at all like when you saw 82 percent wool you were probably like oh, that's gonna be the most scratchy heaviest material this is flowy and not that heavy at all. Again though, I feel like I'm gonna yell at some kids for them being on my lawn or something. <laughs> oh, oh man. Actually, wait, the guy in the lookbook that was wearing this was bald. I just need the like glasses from the season and I can recreate the whole look because I've got a black Uniqlo button up shirt. Damn, that's kind of scary. <laughs> it just look like the dude from the lookbook. Crazy. Okay, well, this might be pushing it too far for some people. This might be a little bit too old man for some people. But maybe you really like it. Maybe you like it. As I said, it's flowy, man. This, it does all sit on your shoulders. But, like, they've perfectly done it so the, the, the weight of the piece is not too heavy. Um, they, like, for a spring summer 20, 20 uh, for a spring summer collection, I've done a good job on balancing the weight of the piece to not be too heavy. I feel like I could definitely wear this like tomorrow. Like it, it, it's spring for Australia right now, almost summer. I feel like I could still wear this. Old man stees to the office tomorrow, fellas. I think that's the go. I think that is the go. Yeah, but that is the brown one. Um, my least favorite out of the two, but still very nice. I do like it. I'm, I'm feeling very old man-esque. Let's try on the black and see how the black mix looks. Okay, I definitely feel like the black one is the best one. I feel like the black is definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah, comfy though. Ooh, okay, ooh. The pockets are better on the black. Yeah, so the brown pockets are quite vertical. Um, you've literally just got to like dip your hands into them like this whilst the black ones come in at more of an angle and I can literally just go BAM Ooh. This is this is nice. This is very I look I I mean technically I own some cardigans like I've got the um the capital one the capital souvenir cardigan I also noticed that quite intentionally so I don't really know how to describe it but really showcase it to you guys you can see that the material around the wrist has been like, I'll try and showcase it there the best I can. You can see the stitching here. It's been sewn backwards, so it kind of pulls back. Um, handy so I don't like dip my wrists into, I don't know, something on a table or something like that. But yeah, they've done it so there's like an intentional roll on the black one. This wasn't the case on the brown one. So a little added detail to the black one there. In saying that though, the black one doesn't have as much of a distressed uh, neckline as the brown one did. The brown one around the neck is a lot more frayed, a lot more, yeah, like destroyed. So it's got more of a, more of a distressed look there. So they are, there are like little differences you would notice between the two of them. But 
like looking at them from a distance, you're probably just like, whatever, man. Um, yeah, this is mad comfy though. This is mad comfy. Am I, am I game enough to rock it to the office tomorrow? Look, over the top of that button up. Ooh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm pondering it. I'm shuffling around. Old man shuffling, thinking about it. I want to give it a shot. <laughs> I know I'm going to get roasted by a lot of the fellas, but hey, look, look, it's that, it's that old man. Old, I'm just preparing myself for 40 years down the line, you know, no hair, cardigan. We set, we set. <laughs> nah, awesome. Fantastic. Okay. The material on it is awesome. Again, like the brown one, it sits on your shoulders and then just flows. Uh, very comfy. I love the oversized buttons on it. To show you though, this is where the first button meets. So I'll just put it through to kind of showcase it to you. See? Huge neckline. Not like the brown one. Huge. But I really like that. This looks really nice. I like how it sits on my body. It sits across my chest there. Uh, the ribbing on the line here is very, very thick. I'll kind of, yeah, I can kind of showcase it to you. See how it's very thick? Yeah, I really like that though. Nice added details. The stitching on the wrists is a nice added touch. <sighs> old man. I'm an old man now. I'm just going to get into Japanese designer and dress like an old man. It's just how I be. I'm just preparing for the future. <laughs> 23 year old dress it like he's like 65, I suppose. But hey, look, comfy though. I feel like an artist. I feel like an artist now. Give me like a paintbrush, just start painting. Yeah, I can, I can get around it. <laughs> yeah, no, awesome guys. Um, I love the material. The material choice is fantastic. If the red hoodie, if the knit red hoodie comes in this same material, I'm fully on board. Cause I was kind of iffy about the red hoodie, but if it's the same like blend of material as these cardigans are, oh, the red knit mix hoodie would be fantastic. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to hunt for that one in a size five. There was one available, but it sold out. So, and I think that's what got me concerned that the size fives for these were gonna sell out from SVD because the hoodie sold out and I wanted the hoodie. So that's a bummer, but I am very happy to have both of these cardigans. And I feel like I am gonna wear them how the lookbook was kind of doing it, but spicing it up a little bit more for the office. So with like a tie and everything like that. Um, yeah. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go with that one. Um, either way, very happy with this. Would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Is it a yes? Is it a no? Do you like either of them? Are you a fan of the black one? Are you a fan of the brown one? I was gonna say this is the black one, but the brown one or the black one here, which one's your preference? I think my intention was to buy the black, so I think I'm gonna say the black is my favorite. I like the added details to the black that the brown didn't have, but then I also like the individual details of the brown one as well. Yeah, awesome stuff though. Lo love June's work. He's making me look like an old man for the spring summer 2022 season. I'm here for it though. We've got the old man look. Let's go. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about either of these Nick Cardigans guys down in that comment section below. Well, that's both of them unboxed guys. Here they are. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I guess the long cardigans is the way to describe them because cardigans normally sit around the waist and stuff, but these go like very much past my waist, like halfway down my thigh type, type deal. Um, yeah. Comfy as hell though. I feel like I could just, I could have an old man snooze in this. This is a very comfortable wool. The materials on it are fantastic. Um, I, for the price that I paid at like 80% off the retail, I can't complain too much about it. Very happy to add these undercover pieces to my ongoing undercover collection. Um, it's just like, yeah, at, at that price point, I can't complain. And I am very happy to have the black one in my collection. And just because of the timing and the situation, the brown one as well. Um, again, I would still love to collect a lot of pieces from this spring summer 2022 season. I'd love to pick up the... Yeah, like the kimono trench coat, the asymmetrical one, the a lot of the collaborative pieces with the artist, which I forgot their name of the season. There's a lot of pieces, lots of pieces. There were some awesome little pieces here and there in that season. Um, and I'm very happy to have my first spring summer 2022 pieces because I don't have any um, as of yet. So these are my first ones. Fantastic stuff though. 
I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. Do you like the spring summer 2022 season at all? Are you a fan of any of the pieces? How are we feeling about these two pieces as well? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep picking up Undercover, Unboxing Undercover, all that good stuff, you're just going to give me the three indicators I, I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of uh, 3,515 subs before the end of November. We've got very few days left in the month, but we've also got very few subs to get to reach that milestone. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. Well, that's everything I really got to say and showcase about these pieces, guys. I'll see if I'm uh, game enough to wear them in the office tomorrow. See if I, you know, got that confidence. <laughs> I feel like it's fine. I feel like I'm known for being like the quirky weird dude that likes fashion, that wears wacky stuff to the office at this point. So we're already down that sinkhole. Why not just make it more, you know, more of a thing? <laughs> They're not going to have any beef with it. I know that for sure. But yeah, um, thank you to SVD for selling Undercover, another boutique to do so. I have bought from them before. You may remember years ago, I bought my Shattered Backboard 3.0s from them, and now Undercover. I reckon I will be buying more Undercover from them if they continue to discount it up to that price. I think, yeah, there's some pieces that I'd like to pick up. If they stock size 5s more often, definitely, I'd pick up some size 5s from them. But uh, yeah, that's everything I really have to showcase about these pieces, guys. Very happy to have them in my collection. I uh, will be wearing them moving forward. So yeah, because that's all. Until the next streetwear talk video, until the next undercover video, until the next unboxing video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.